listen, Latino voters are, you know, have the same concerns that most Americans have. You know, they, they, they want the economy to improve. They want to have a good job opportunities. They want to be able to have access to health care for their families. You know, obviously for the Latinos, there is an extra issue, especially for those that, that uh, have family members who are undocumented. You know? okay. So I think it's really important Latinos want to be involved in the political process without fear of being targeted. Um, okay. So I think those are things that they're really going to remember that the Latinos are thinking about and should be thinking about. It's so cool, you know. I gotta be honest. I've never been here. I've had so many friends, like that, you know, in the city that have gone to Hofstra, that you know, and I've never had a chance to come here. And it's it's a beautiful campus. Student center is great. So we we, we got lost a little bit. So we got to see some of the rest of the campus. <laughs> so and there's a Taco Bell very nearby. So that's that's what more do you want? Certainly, you have a large platform. Are you know a lot of kids who you know uh, connect with you? Just how important is it for you that you're able to be a spokesman and just to get out to these kids and that they can hear you? Well, I you know I I always for a long time I fought against the idea of, of trying to be any kind of spokesman or role model or anything, but um, uh, you know, it's honestly a great opportunity because it makes me feel better about what I do. It makes me feel like it's more useful, you know. Because after a while, you just keep making songs. You're just like, wow, all I'm doing is just making songs. So you get to do, you get to contribute some other way, which is nice. <laughs>